recorded, it's recorded. It's not, it's not. <laughs> right, so the whole idea of what, what you want to do with this session is to just get in clarifying your mind what do I need to do at the start yep. and what do I need to do at the end. Yep. Put the handbrake on, we might stay in the car park. <laughs> I can't work out what's going on there, looking like a car's moving over there, why? <laughs> Oh, dear. oh, I was going to say, Kevin, you've not, you've not been successful today. <laughs> um, so, let's try and put this into some sort of context to start with. You have Abby and Abby tomorrow. Yes. What are you doing with each of them in the lesson? What 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 is the current plan for either or both of them? Oh, I need my book now. Um, <laughs> Sorry. No, Abby. Abby White. We are moving on to um, independence on the bigger roundabout. She's. Right. Um, I think that's what it is. Well, that's whether it is or yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. So it's, a... it's it's more independence on the on the the bigger roundabout, okay. especially. Um, and yeah. what about the other Abbey? The other Abbey, we are still trying to build up confidence on roundabouts and observations on roundabouts because she's still, but she still has a big issue with um, finding the bike. Right. Okay. Let's take Abbey too. Yep. Because there's a bit more in. Let, let's imagine you are taking her to your part three tomorrow okay and that's the topic well that's the things that you're looking at um, but in your mind there is also this extra yep bit as well yep so you're looking at confidence on roundabouts yep. is that what you said Com yeah building up her confidence knowing when to go right looking for the gap okay so rather than just roundabouts, which yeah. I usually roll my eyes at when everybody says I want to do roundabouts, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we have a specific goal yeah. for, for what's involved there. So I think it's because you're lo looking at the part three stuff, uh, did the trainer identify the pupils' learning goals and needs? Well, when were these identified? Before the lesson started. Last week. Last, week. Last yeah. lesson. Yeah. Ideal. Yeah. But in your mind also, there is this, th this is what you're aiming to do, is build up confidence with various aspects to do with roundabouts. Yep. However, there is also this other thing in, in your mind, or in Abby's mind as well, that might get in the way yep. of doing that. So what if... While you're driving towards the test centre, this I issue on stalling, wh when does it happen? Is it random or is it in particular no, it's places? Always, it's, it's at every junction, every every possibility of having to stop. Right. And then once um, she's approached, she's, she approaches lovely, she knows exactly what she's got to do. If she has to stop, that's when it all goes out the window because she's like, oh shit, I'm going to stall. Straight away, we've got it in our head. I'm going to stall, which means that generally they will stall, or she will right. stall. Okay. Um, when she goes to go at a roundabout, she she knows the gap's there, but then we have the issue of I know I'm going to stall, so I'm not going to go. Right. <laughs> so that to me is a bigger issue at the moment than the roundabout. Than the roundabout. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, th I, know, I think that is more of a something to sort out yeah. and. Um, Having cleared out the back seat for the test this morning, because I didn't really think the exam oh, and the examiner wouldn't have minded if she'd looked round and seen the chimp grinning at her. But it, it, it's a sort of scenario where I think you need to build in something like the chimp. Yes, which I have used. Right. Yes, we've been uh, using that a couple of times. Right. And to be fair, it works. Yeah. Because I've said to her, have you used the chimp? Yeah. And how many times and where? And she said, "Oh, I think the first week it was like oh, I've used him probably quite a lot." And I yes. asked her where, and she said, "When I know I'm going to stall." And that sort of afternoon, mm. the, the second hour after in introducing the chimp, she did get better. Right. 
Um, but then she had a break from her left, we had a gap in between, right. and then we went back to it again, and it all sort of went out the window a little bit. So I said to her later on, I said, have you used Mr. Chimp? And she's like, oh no. So I think tomorrow, especially, it will be yeah. Chimp and yes. local again. I, I, I think for her that's more of an issue, yeah. which probably isn't going to help us too much with what we're trying no. to do. So let's put the stalling issue out to grass yeah. and, and imagine it's not an issue. Yeah. So she now has this thing, the next thing is confidence at when to go at roundabouts. Yeah. So what you really ne need to do now is you've agreed the goals and needs. Yeah. yeah. Was the agreed lesson structure appropriate for the pupil's experience and ability? Well, it sounds to me very much as though it's going to be, although the, this now also comes down to what's your involvement going to be. But the, that, that's another... That's bit of a side issue. Were the practice areas suitable? I'm sure you're going to go somewhere where it, it would be suitable. Yeah. <laughs> Marsh Barton's the most likely place. Yeah. Um, and then we get we might have this ad adaptation which I sort of alluded to with the stalling mm -hmm. might be the thing to look at first. Well he's doing exactly the same as I had to do just before <laughs> we got into oh. Marsh Barton and Josh said to me there's a couple of morning lights oh, come okay. on. <laughs> You don't need that, do you? I have pressure. Fortunately, I've got one of those. Oh, okay. <laughs> we just stopped outside Mac Grove and put some air in. Thank goodness. Um, anyway, um, so maximum of two or three minutes. It doesn't have to be very long at all. No, it doesn't. No. Work. The old days, um, anybody who remembers the old style part three tests, it was in two half hours, and probably the first eight to 10 minutes were spent in the test center car park, going through the theory of whatever topic was wanted. And the examiner had a basically a tick sheet that's about what you needed to cover okay. before you even move the car. Yeah. Now we don't need that at all. Okay. So you're going to do, let's say, confidence at when to go at roundabouts. So what's going to be involved, do you think? What's the, what's your learner going to need to know? As, as, even as they get, first of all, as they get to the roundabout. So the, straight off, they're going to know which need to know which lane they're in. Good. Yes. Um, which way to look? Yep. Whether they need to signal on uh, to come off where they're for well, where they're signalling. So if they're going right. They would need to know whether to put the signal on first, um, or if they're going straight ahead, whether they need to signal when they need to signal off, left, obviously signal beforehand, um, and then positioning on the roundabout. But before that is them looking, isn't it? Looking hmm. to the right to, to, to work out when they can go, and then if the traffic stopped to the right, what's stopping them? Can they go? Yeah. Now, how much of that are you likely to be able to cover on the way to the test centre? All of it. Yeah. 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 And, and some of it you may uh, employ, some of it you might not. If you get to a roundabout where, oh, it's clear, I can go, they haven't got to worry about what's going on over there. So it may be, and, you, and so the, the one at the Devon Hotel, you turn right into Marsh Barton, <laughs> That's so easy yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> Much it really easier, is. You know, there's only one lane <laughs> yeah. to, to, have, to have to worry about. Um, but yeah, I, I've, the, the, but there might be an issue that comes up. You know, so the, the learner stops. Why aren't they going? So where should they be looking at that point? Further down the roundabout. Where, in, where in particular? There's, there's, they don't go because there's traffic there which isn't moving. So they're looking to the next exit to see why they've stopped. Or even uh, ahead. Of that exit? Yeah. For the driver on the left coming up from the left signalling to go right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's it's I mean it, I, I think it's it's just you can go through in a couple of minutes just the awareness of all of that. What's what speed? Okay, we're gonna approach around right what what sort of speed are you gonna go at? Where are you going to be looking? Is every roundabout the same in terms of zone of vision? No. no of course it isn't. <laughs> so, uh, are you giving yourself time? Where are you looking before you even get there? Mm -hmm. 
how easy does this look? How difficult does it look? You know? So where you know where you need to be in the road, and if you get a yes from that, okay, right, we're going straight ahead, a uh, two lane round, round about there's two lanes on approach. Which one are we going to be in? Well, they either give you the right answer or they don't. Oh, well, there's something to work on. Mm. Okay. Um, so it's it's just those things. So all this stuff that we've talked about on the way there, do you think you're you, you're pretty confident about where you need to be on approach to the roundabout? Do you, where, where are you going to be looking? What sort of speed? What's, what gear are we going to be in? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and just get all the answers from them. Yeah. So would would I do that as we're moving then? Uh, like, so we've done the, the <coughs> what goals at the beginning, the two to three minutes, and then once we've got to start moving, it's like, well, we've, we've done some on the way in. Do you then just progress on from what you've done, or do you start, like... I think, yeah, it very much depends on what it's been like on the way in. There won't have been that many roundabouts that are not traffic light controlled. No. The Countess Weir one, Countess you're going to go straight Weir, ahead yeah. that. The Matford one, you're going to go ahead at, but there might be traffic coming around from the right. That's probably the only... And then there's the BMW one, where you're turning right to the test centre. Yeah. So there's going to be a couple of roundabouts where something might have happened. But what I would be doing, I think, is a couple of minutes in the test centre, just saying, well... You know, what have we done so far in terms of yeah. approaching roundabouts? Which lane have we been in? What speed have we been at? What, have there been any issues at all? If there's been issues, there's something to work on. If there haven't, okay, well, let's see if we can put this into practice mm -hmm. on, on the roundabouts that, that we're going to meet. And I wouldn't bother with too much more than that. No. Because then you can come to, let's say, Let's imagine you turn left out of the test centre at yep. the end of Thorverton Road and the first roundabout you come to, you're going to turn right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to, at the roundabout, we're going to turn right, take the third exit. Two lanes, which lane are we going to be in? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to turn right at the next one. So there's a couple of lanes, that there are two lanes there, but the lines aren't that easy to see. Help you learner. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's not easy to see. So where in the road are you going to position the car? Let's say you're going to do right turns on yeah, the roundabout, yeah, yeah. just for argument's yeah. sake. Um, and you can do both of those. And if there's, The second one is more likely, roundabout is more likely to be an issue than the first one, because it's likely to be busier. Yeah. So there might be some issues there. And, I can't go, I can't go. And, you know, your job then is where else can you look? Yeah. And what do we talk about? Where else to look? Yeah. Is there anybody over there who's got a right indicator on? Chances are there won't be. Mm. The problem is the driver's coming from straight ahead, yeah. which you can't see no. until they're halfway around the roundabout. Yeah. Um, is, is there a large vehicle coming around the roundabout, which might allow you the chance to get out. Well, forget the fact that we've got Abby with the stalling <laughs> issues. Yeah. Now, that, that's another story entirely. But, but could you get out from there? And then if that doesn't work very well, you come down to traffic lights and go down go again. Around again. Um, and again. Uh, it's that sort of circuit that you want on your part three. Something that's five to eight minutes at the most, which you can repeat. Which you can repeat. And right, repeat. Okay. But uh, uh, just get the basic theory out of the way of uh, got the idea of where we need to be in on the roundabout for each. Uh, at what point are we going to signal to leave? Where are you going to look? Just run through one or two of those little bits yep. in two or three minutes maximum before the car leaves okay. the test centre. Okay. If you're doing opportunities to. take opportunities at a roundabout, is that specific to roundabouts? No. 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 You've got a junction at the end of the road, yeah. first of all. Yeah. Which, Continuous yeah. recording will now start. Yeah. So, if GPS something serious happens where I have to intervene, that's a pull up on the side and have yes. a chat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. At the first opportunity, <coughs> you know, depending on where you are, it yeah. might not be appropriate. No. So what, what you, I think you need to do there, uh, and I had a not not a serious inc not incident, a situation yesterday with Carrie, um, where I can't even remember what it was that happened now, um, but there was something that was mentioned. She she picked it up. It was at Countess Weir roundabout. Um, 
and then we carried on, turned left at the glass house lane just halfway down Bridge Road um, and Carrie pulled over um, to talk about the roundabout but before she did that she talked about whatever it was they'd mentioned. Great! But the one thing I did say to her, just say something about it. We'll talk about that when, when we, we pull up, yeah. rather than wait until you do pull up yeah. and, and then talk about okay. it. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute, because the roundabout was more important for well, Dan to, to actually think about that. Yeah. So yes, if, if there is something particularly serious, that takes precedence. Yeah. And whatever you were going to do, this is where was the lesson plan adapted when appropriate. Yeah. Because their learning goal now is not what it was at the start. Yeah. There's a possibly a much smaller one. <coughs> I mean, it could well be simply as they're coming off the roundabout, they're signalling but not looking. Yeah, which is quite a big one, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> like, that mm. seems to happen a lot. Well, I, <coughs> I, th I think one of the main problems with that is the speed sometimes. Yeah. They just don't give themselves yeah, yeah. enough time. Yeah. Um, to do all of that, but if they're in first gear, they're heavy on the gas, and yeah. then all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. arms going everywhere. <laughs> and there's, there's something to deal with. Okay, well, let's, let's just go around a bit slower. You know, give yourself time. So, if, if for instance, they missed mirrors <coughs> before you even do the roundabout, do you then adapt it completely and take them away from the roundabout and make sure that they get the mirrors in at other junctions and left turns and things? before then the roundabout because there's more to think about on a roundabout isn't there? Yes. I think here you need you will know your learner better than anybody else. Yeah. That is one mirror check missed. A big issue or not? No. See I'm starting to overthink it a little bit no. now. So with the mirror, if it's a, if the odd mirror miss, talk about it on the move. Say so, right, so you missed your mirror talk about the importance no. of the mirrors um, i wouldn't worry too much about going into the importance of it Let, let's say uh, well we, it needs to be talked about but not possibly not immediately long, yeah. because now they're having it's a question where they're having to think about the answer yeah. it's much better done stationary yeah or on a nice straight bit of road so let's take this example coming out of the test center turning left and turning right at the first roundabout the indicator goes on to leave but there's no Yep. So we're going to turn right in the next roundabout. Um, so which mirrors? So let's, let's make sure we get our routine started. So we're going to turn right. What, what's the first thing you need to do? Oh yeah. So yeah. Hopefully they get it right. <coughs> okay. And we're all, so we come on to the roundabout. Okay. And um, which mirror are you going to check now before you signal to leave? Yeah. Yeah. So where, or where are you going to look? Because yeah. there are some examiners, particularly the senior examiner will not just want the look there but the look here as well okay so let's just have a look, look how much time have you got to do that and when you're going to do it um and and then we're turning right and we've got a nice straight bit of road before we get to the traffic lights now you've got the opportunity to go into some what why do we need to do okay tell me what we need to do the mirror can you if we go around again can you do you think you can do those yourself yeah. Or do you think you need <laughs> me to prompt you? Oh, I think I can do them myself. You go around. Either they do or they don't. Okay, so now, if we go around again, perhaps I'll just give you a prompt this time. Yeah. Until you, until you actually do it and yeah. you get fed up with me nagging you. Yeah, so then would you do it? keep doing it until they get it right? Or <coughs> See, that's the other thing on that. Like, <coughs> I would I would then so if, if they get it right okay so sh shall we now go back to what we were planning to do and get those mirrors in so we don't uh, don't have to keep yeah. sorting that out yeah. okay I would imagine something like mirrors um, and getting the hazard routine in the right order and doing it at the right time for most people who you could take to a part three check they've got it test, already they will yeah, yeah. you will sort that pretty yeah. quickly yeah yeah. Um, yeah. So that's really it's two or three minutes in the test centre at the most. And then a lot of it you can deal with it. And, and if there is something that's clearly not in there, come on, let's pull up. Let's, let's, let's tell me, you know, what what is this routine that we've got? Yeah. 
for, for this driving system. Um, hazard routine or driving system, you use those terms <laughs> and then you've got a friend in okay, the back there. Okay. okay? But the, the next thing is to make sure that the learner actually is utilising that and doing it at the right times. Okay. I'll remember that hazard routine. I'll have it oh, written on a paper oh, yeah. down here. The, the, the day I see a part three or standards check report from John O'Brien that does not mention either the driving system or the hazard routine or MSM, because it's all the same yeah. thing, yeah. then I'll give somebody a hundred pounds. Because he always mentions it, good or bad. Okay, <laughs> so right. Make, you know, make sure they have a... The, the, the driving system is properly em employed or well done for uh, the, the, the learner ha did well with his, ha his, his or her hazard routine. Okay. He, he'll put it in <laughs> somehow. <Okay. laughs> but it's, yeah, look, it, it's being able to, uh, it is the hardest part, adapting. Yeah. But a lot of the adaptations are likely to be very minor things that you can fix yeah. quite quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, I'm okay with it, it bit in the middle. Yeah. With the actual driving bit, and obviously with Dave, I've got a really good um, relationship with yeah. Dave. So yeah. you know, we work really well together. So that bit, I'm not concerned about. It is just the, 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 the bit of the beginning. I'm because I tend to get modelled. They'd be like, this yeah. is the hair. <laughs> right. I, th I think the important <coughs> thing here is have. A little set of bullet points yep. on whatever topic you're doing. What first of all, what does driving essential skills say about the topic you're doing? Start with that. Okay. All right. Um, and you've got that book, have you? Yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So make sure whatever you're doing, what are the bullet points or within that chapter? What are the things that that talks about? Make sure that either you include them at the start, or there's bits you include as you're going round. Yeah. So I would have your little booklet yeah. with some bullet points about the topic you're going to do, and it's <laughs> you can tick them off as you go around yeah, if yeah, necessary, yeah. or tick them off before you've even started. Okay. Um, yeah, and, um, that's what I would do there. Okay. Right. Anything else <laughs> on the start? No, I don't think so. I just yeah, it's just I know that uh, as soon as I, I get in the car and it'll be sat in the back, it will it will just be like. So that's mm. what I've got. To, that's the practice bit I think yeah. for me. Yes. Yeah. Just risk assessment. Let's just stop this for a moment. Do it again. <laughs>